James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is November 11th, 2023, 1 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, according to our GOES X-ray flux, we've just seen an M flare followed by a fairly strong C flare. Now, it looks like this all originated from Sunspot AR3477. We'll take a look at that very, very soon here. Meanwhile, I want everyone to remember that NOAA has forecasted what looks like about 15 hours plus of a geomagnetic storm. A G1 and G2, which might go as far as a G3 geomagnetic storm. Now, there was no real good reason given for this, and we see no agitations, no solar flares or anything else on goes on the 9th when they say this major halo flare originated. Headed over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. All the activity is coming from right down here, both the M flare and the strong follow-up C flare. Were easily seen there. Now they're not earth facing but they very well might have an earth component to them. After all our GO satellite that orbits just above and around earth picked up those x-rays inbound and we will see we also had x-ray absorption on the ground here. So my guesses are again a glancing blow at best, if not a complete hit. Heading over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we see radiation coming through, hitting the planet here. What we're seeing here is a C baseline, which we're back up to, so everyone's getting a good dose of radiation here on Earth. And I will show you all what that flare looked like. Popped off right over South America and right over the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of South America. A fairly strong flare but definitely not one of the stronger flares that we've seen of late. Taking a look at what we're dealing with here mainly 3477 trying to get around the limb but just quite hasn't made it then we also have another complex sunspot, AR3483, to the northwest of that. So we'll keep our eyes on those two, although they are headed towards the limb and should be around the limb within about 24 hours. Those are our two problematic sunspots currently. We see no coral holes on the sun that would cause solar winds to be inbound towards Earth. All right, headed over to Discover Real-Time Solar Wind. We see that absolutely nothing is happening, even though NOAA and NASA have forecasted 15 plus hours of geomagnetic storm. We see nothing. The latest uh, plasma looks like it was about 2.5 centimeters cubed, which is nothing. And we see below that solar winds have dropped below 500 kilometers per second, which again um, is nowhere near a solar storm. Solar winds continue to look like they're dropping. We're expecting plasma because they said this was a solar flare with an associated halo coronal mass ejection, which in fact on the 9th, I didn't see anything. But we were told that it did, in fact, happen just yesterday for an impact today. Now, when I say I saw nothing happen on the 9th, I mean we saw nothing. Nothing hit our GO satellite whatsoever, and we've never been hit by a coronal mass ejection unless we saw a solar flare hit our GO satellite first, regularly 20 to 40 hours prior. So what we are is we're 20 to 48 hours after this small incident here. But this was a C 
2.64. Absolutely nothing. And they're calling a halo eruption for the 9th. They actually have photos of it. And they're saying that that's going to impact us. This little, um, well, this little impact here for 15 plus hours of a geomagnetic storm today. My feeling is, is this uh, solar plasma is coming from a different source because it sure didn't come from our sun. And it sure didn't hit our GO satellite that orbits close to Earth, period. With that said, these KP indexes better pick up quick. We're looking at just a few hours, six hours to the end of the day UTC time. And we have absolutely no impact whatsoever. Just as anyone would have figured because we saw absolutely no solar flare whatsoever we'll see what happens i will keep you updated but remember noah did come in and forecast 15 hours of strong g1 g2 and g3 geomagnetic storms and absolutely nothing has occurred and well a prerequisite of that is nothing seemed to have occurred on the ninth when they're blaming the quote-unquote solar flare that caused a halo chrome mass ejection. God bless each and every one of you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.